Um, yeah, so you talked a, a bit before about how you were kind of um, pilloried by a lot of the media and things, not just the kind of right-wing media, but a lot of the centrist mainstream media, I'm thinking particularly of Politico.com and things like that. Yeah. Um, and I was just wondering if kind of in retrospect, um, now that your model's kind of proved itself and everything, what's your favorite of the criticisms that was levied against you? <laughs> <laughs> the favorite criticism? I, so, so David Brooks, who's a columnist for the New York Times, said that you have to be a, a wizard uh, to, to use data in this way, even though it's a very simple application, really. Um, but no, I mean, politico.com was probably, probably uh, the worst of it, right? Where, where one of the people was saying on Twitter one day that, you know, oh, all his model is doing is, is, uh, is averaging polls, right, and counting electoral college votes. Like, well, yeah, right? It's really simple. And the fact that you can't get this simple thing is really disturbing for when you're trying to handle more complicated issues instead. Um, it should usually be a compliment if you're building some kind of model, people say, well, that's very, that's very simple. I mean, oftentimes we have trouble digesting the obvious things, I think it was, and uh, Politico in particular did.